guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome. My name is Madison, and I'm the creator of This Faithful Home. Guys, I'm super excited for today's video because I'm going to be taking you through the project of building this TV stand for a family friend of mine. They had asked me if I would be able to help them build a TV stand for their new house that they just moved into and I was so excited for the opportunity so I thought I'd make a cool video out of it for you guys showing you the different power tools that I have, how I use them, and how I went about start to finish making this project. I purchased all of my wood from Lowe's and here I am using my miter saw to start cutting all the pieces for the framework of the TV stand. They wanted it to be seven feet long so I just drew the design myself and here I'm starting to cut all of the pieces for it. This has by far been my favorite present I've ever gotten for Christmas. Thank you, David. This is called a Craig Jig or basically a pocket hole drill kit. You use this like I'm showing here to drill pocket holes. That way you can screw two pieces of wood together and not have the screws show. So the next step that I need to do is pre-drill all of the holes for this project so that I can assemble it later, but already have the pocket holes drilled ahead of time. Now that I have everything positioned where I want it, I'm going to be switching drill bits to the other one that comes in this kit and this is what I'm going to use to screw the wood together with the specific screws that came with the kit that I got for Christmas. But first I'm going to be putting wood glue on every surface, that way it has a strong secured hold on top of all of the screws. It's very important when you are assembling wood pieces like this that you make the effort and the time to put wood glue first because that will help keep this structure way more secured and last longer because of the added support from the glue. This miter saw is probably my favorite power tool that I've ever owned. It was actually mine and my dad's before I got married, but I convinced him to let me take it with me to my house so that I could continue building projects. And I absolutely love using this tool. Now I'm going to be assembling the shelf that is going to go on this project. I made the shelf out of 2x4s, but the top of it will be out of 2x6s, which you will see here in a little bit. This is a more practical and realistic view for you guys on why it is so important to pre-drill your screw holes because you would never be able to screw those together without it and without it looking nice and clean without seeing all the screws. I'm finishing working on the supports for the top of the TV stand and once I do that I will be able to combine the back piece that I'm laying down here with this front piece. First making sure that I put glue on every surface so that it has the initial hold and then after I finish putting the glue I will then grab my drill and continue screwing in all of the pilot holes. Is it going to be heavy? Yeah. David! 
it. Oh. I have blue. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't forget it. It's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I thought it was attached. Guess what? You're going to be in the video now. <laughs> it is not. I have not drilled it yet. I just put all the glue down. Well, it's all good. It's okay. Okay, you keep screwing. <laughs> keep. I haven't started yet. I just yep. did the glue. Yep, keep screwing. <laughs> Woo! So anyways. Are you crying? No. Gosh, I just love when David comes to check on me. He just makes everything so much better. Don't you agree? Thanks, love. And I'll give you the, my sander and yeah. sand the front of it. I'm going to sand the front, the really legs, good. and then the, and then the top. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Here and then the top. This is where I transition to the 2x6s that I will use for the top of the project. And the same concept for here as the rest of the piece. I will be cutting, measuring, drilling my pilot holes, putting glue on it, and then securing it together. I've made many projects over the years, but each time I make a new one, I'm just blown away by the talent Scott has given me to be able to make something like this. Like I just, wow, it, I'm just so impressed with it and it's not even done yet. I know you heard my husband and I mention earlier that we are going to sand down the project, so he let me use his Ryobi belt sander, which I've never actually used before, but it was super easy to do and I sanded everything from top to bottom, including the bottom of the legs, just to give it a nice round finished edge as you can see here. Here is where the project starts to really take shape. I will be using a dark walnut stain for the entire thing per the request of the family that I'm building this for. I have already put on my gloves to make sure that I keep my hands protected. And then as you can see there, I have an old sock that I will be using to actually stain the board. That's something that I've always done. Take some old rag or old sock that has holes in it. That way at the end of it, you can just toss it in the trash and not worry about dirtying a nice rag or paintbrush. Another outfit change for you guys as I start to wrap up this project. I am staining the base of it and I am absolutely loving how this color is turning out. It is so beautiful. I cannot wait for you guys to see the final result, which for you will be in about 30 seconds YouTube time. Alright guys, here is the final product of the TV stand that you just saw me build. I hope you guys like it, Angela, I hope you guys It's perfect! Love this. I'm super excited with how it turned out. I think it is amazing, it looks awesome in the space. I can't wait to see how she decorates it and I'll make sure in a video later on that I show you guys an update on everything once it's styled. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so that you feel welcomed into this faithful home with me. I make videos every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern time, and I will see you guys in another video real soon. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>